Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. It is time to move on to the next big main thing. Relentless has a waterfall, and Daruk seems to be required for some reason. But I think we're going to roll with these guys. So let's get our usual. Well, do we want to? But yeah. I don't care about health. It really hasn't ever been an issue still. Indeed. So health and material drop rate. Urbosa and Zelda and Link sounds good, and Daruk for some reason. Sure. We don't stand a chance of defeating them. And what's more, our chances of rescue are slim to none. And it's likely the same for all of Hyrule. And yet, rule one, the researcher's code is to never give up. Personally, I get the feeling that our chances are higher than you think. Huh? Report! A, a divine beast from the western waters! Hmm. See that? What did I tell you? With the help of those who had traveled from beyond time, the fated party fought with all of their strength to fend off the unending waves of guardians and monsters. Despite their efforts, Hyrule remained embroiled in a grueling battle. The soldiers stationed within Hyrule Castle fled, seeking refuge in the east, in the impenetrable walls of Ocala Citadel. As guardians swarmed the perimeter, they held out hope and waited for help to arrive. Link and the others hurriedly made their way to the citadel. Meanwhile, having reclaimed Varuta, Mipha and Sidon faced the enemy directly, forging ahead to the tower. So why is Daruk required if it's Mipha and Sidon? Well, whatever. Starting off a mission with a Divine Beast. We did that before, right? The forest or something? It's been a while since we've been in this elephant. So... Let's see what it's like all powered up. The road forks here. Well, which way do we go? Western road looks perilous, but it is our swiftest path to the Citadel. Alright. Eastern path takes longer, but has plenty of water, which would give us the advantage. Nah, we want to get right to the end. Although that reminds me of that mission, or like the side thing in Breath of the Wild, you know, where you have to swim down the entire entirety of Zora's River chasing after a crate or something? Or it's like a letter box or something. That was kind of cool. I wonder how long that took to program so that the stupid letterbox never got stuck on something that you couldn't fix. I'm definitely ready for the sequel. Hopefully by now, by the time this video goes out, we'll have heard something, but maybe not. Maybe it's still too early. the heck? That did nothing. So, are we constantly under a blood moon here? Because the sky is pretty orange. I don't know. Let's just wipe everything out. I don't know what that gauge is in the middle there, the little water elephant thing. Does this thing run out of water? I guess that would make sense in a way, but... 
Maybe that's why the other path is more advantageous, or whatever the word is. Whenever we got a puddle, I will stand in it and wreck you all. Well, that one was better. More things froze that time. I don't want to seem like that move did nothing. I've been watching Mr. Rogers just because. And now I've been watching a lot of things, actually. I haven't. For like the past several weeks been watching anything on YouTube really and so I had a string of lazy days it's been a while since I've played this and uh yeah I don't know I was just watching old talk show stuff like Johnny Carson yeah I guess we did it I was watching that, you remember that old comedian Jonathan Winters, who like Robin Williams had great admiration for and stuff? Or what's, what's the word when you take influence from somebody? I guess that is the word. <laughs> I don't know. But I was getting into his stuff, trying to see what that was all about. shall cover the perimeter and we'll join you as soon as we can <laughs> <laughs> Why is Daruk required? I guess we'll learn. Man, everything is nuts. Look at this map. Who are we sending along the bottom? We don't have... Oh, we do have her post, so that's right. It's like that other mission all over again, but with ma way more chaos. Somebody's already... It is her post, so she's automatically taking the bottom path. Okay. Passing up Korox, I'd imagine. Oh, well. Trying to get a good listen to the music here. Because that... is a very important thing all the time. I do like it. It has that little anthemic feel to it. Things have definitely improved with this game, as far as the story. Like I, don't, I love these giant guardian-infested battles way more than anything else that was going on before all this happened. Oh wow, it's the Zelda theme. I love when stuff does that. The big melodies or whatever. Or medleys, rather, is what I'm trying to say. And I just have like a little snippet of something that's instantly recognizable. Alright, so Link can go to that thingy that we gotta do. Oposa, I mean, I guess she's probably already like going, but. I'll take out the link. I can't talk. What's happening to my mouth? Forward. Stupid mouth. Zelda is absolutely insane. Let's try her new combo out. My god. 
Yeah, that's one of the reasons I brought her into this fight, because I, I realized I paid for that bonus combo a while ago. But we've never actually seen it. That was definitely something. She exploded everything. Scimitar of the Seven? I have so many of those things I keep finding. But our boss's weapon is insane right now, too. Like, I don't even need it. I spent a really long time on that fusing screen. Uh, I don't even know. Last episode, was there side stuff left to do? I think I did some side stuff off screen. But it's been days, man. Like I said, I've just kind of been lounging. Yeah, that is crazy. Sometimes I need to do that, though. Like, watching stuff always triggers thoughts in my brain. Like, anytime I watch a movie, I come away thinking all this deep crap. Even if it's a lighthearted movie. But I didn't watch any movies, I just was watching talk show stuff. But the point being, it generates something to talk about. Like I've said a few times in this Let's Play, it's been tough lately. <laughs> Let's explode the crap out of a little minecart thing. I remember in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle earlier in 2020. I was going on about the Johnny Carson show and how the past was so much better and things... People behaved differently back then. And I still believe that, but only sometimes, because there are some things from back there that you could tell like would be clearly unacceptable today. things I noticed a lot of like the big top comedians and big names back then you know like your Dean Martin Bob Hope Johnny Carson himself Don Rickles all these guys like, if you watch them all together they're just talking super fast and laughing all this stuff and I don't even really know what's going on <laughs> like they're laughing at stuff that I can see why it's maybe funny but then like it's not I don't know. It must just be that time gap thing. Even Rodney Dangerfield. Like, I can chuckle at his jokes every now and then, but... He never really makes me burst out laughing like he got back then. Do we dare? I guess we'll just go to the whiz robe with her. Just, there's gotta be a Korok in that huge chunk of where nothing's happening. Unless something is going to happen there. Could always be. Whoa. Alright, gotta heal all these dudes. Wow! <laughs> that clip is so... It catches me off guard every time. Music is good. It only gets me more in the mood for the game. Yeah, yeah, I imagine it's December 15th right now for me. Just finished up some Christmas shopping. But the guilt is there. I feel like my gifts suck. And everybody's gonna be like, oh, thanks, but not really care. My mom is the tough one to buy for. I feel like no matter what I do, it's never enough. Whoa, listen to the music now!
I don't know, it's just very triumphant. Still trying to beef up the Master Sword too, that's why I'm still using this one. It's... I keep fusing these other weapons. They have like a bunch of like level 5, level 6 weapons. And at some point I'm gonna fuse all of them onto the Master Sword. Alright, protect the entrance. Same old Wizro business, I guess. Uh, I'm sure there's probably a Lionel in here or something. Is this the crazy part of the music again? Hey, look, he's still here. Same spot as the other mission. South Gate has been infiltrated. That's where we were just standing. A silver moblin has begun to. Oh my gosh! That's not a silver moblin. <laughs> But yeah, it's like whatever I have right now, it's not enough to push the Master Sword into getting a fourth. Um, what are they called? Seals. Onto the weapon. And it costs a lot to remove seals. But I'm definitely gonna figure it out because the Master Sword obviously is gonna be the main weapon. I don't even know. Who knows? Maybe at the end of the game it's required. Right. Yeah, it's these red groups. This is the cool part of the music. Protect this dude, man. I guess we'll keep Link down here and use Zelda to clean up the rest of the objectives in there. He's got a double axe. Not anymore. Well, yes, he does, even though it exploded on his face. Who's in a tough battle? Somebody Zelda needs to go save? Hang on. Double special, I guess we'll save it, because somebody else is going to come waltzing in here. <laughs> it's sometimes fun to do that, just switch and just into mass chaos, just our smack and crap. What? Wrong button. Man, Zelda is insane! Alright, where is Mifa? Is she doing her thing? Let's see what's going on in our Bosa town, see if we can find at least one Korok. I feel like... I just always feel like there's a pressing time limit, especially when it's like, keep an eye on this dude's health, you're sucking. Like, chill out, man, I'm just looking for a little tree people. Oh. 
But technically, there doesn't seem to be a time limit, so let us roam until an urgent message appears from General Pepper or well, whatever. Rob64. You're so funny, dude. Shut up. Alright. There was a lot going on here in the other mission. Or what seemed like there could be a lot, but then there wasn't. Perhaps now, with all these silver guys... Yeah, I think I definitely want to look up the soundtrack of this game. Like, it's, it's built in. You could just go chill out in the gallery and listen to all the songs. Yeah, some of these later ones that we've been hearing are a lot better. That's right, there was nothing going on here in the other mission. Wait! Aha! It wasn't all for nothing. Let's charge up a little bit of lightning. There's like one more corner to check. And then we just gotta tell her both to run for her life. Because everything's taking place in a citadel again. I don't like this move so much. I always accidentally do it because I keep confusing three and four or two. On the verge of defeat, okay. I don't know if it matters if they get defeated, maybe. It would probably say actually that that's a defeat requirement, but. <laughs> Just switch to her, take a picture, and everything is dead. Wow. All soldiers are back on their feet. Now to find Robbie. Yeah, I was wondering, is he playable now? It's a weird cutscene with him in the beginning of all of this. Where the heck is the dude? I see the... Oh my god. I don't even need the weak point smash, Link is just insane. Yeah, that, that part of the music, every time it comes back around, I don't know, I just really like it. The strings going nuts and then it just cuts out to the Zelda theme on piano. Aha! 100 rupees just for. Mm, that should have been 500. I'm disappointed. Anyway, that's the corners. Urbosa, get the heck out of there. But not too far because maybe there's something going on. Or actually, just tell her to go way up to the next thing. I'll take over Link. That dude's got the craziest voice. See, when you don't know what's going on, it's always nice to let the computer just guide the character where you need to be. What the heck's going on with this guy? Malice Guardian. Who's crying out for help? Is it who I told her Bosa to go to? Everybody's dying! Where's Daruk? This thing definitely has some 
defense to it. Not that Zelda's really got the best combos anyway. Daruk? Daruk has broken through the enemy horde. But he's not playable yet. It doesn't matter, we still gotta beat this thing. Man, that little bomb thing is going nuts! Yeah, this game is getting crazy. It's the music going nuts and enemies getting tougher. I don't I like it when it's mass chaos. What's up, Daruk? So now what? Oh yeah, Robbie's still an issue. But didn't we just save him? This is going back. Wait a minute. What's happening here? Why are things not? Forward. Indeed. I don't know, but I'm going over here. This is that crazy room that had a chest in it at one point. I don't think it was on screen. I was think I when I replayed the mission, but Cobble Crusher. Yeah, see, this is a thing with Daruk. Okay. Daruk currently doesn't have his uh, his good weapon. I ended up selling his boulder breaker because it wasn't good. I was fusing it poorly this whole time. And then it turns out like a cobble crusher or something or stone smasher ended up being better. So I gotta find that. Like I've been finding more scimitars of the seven so I'm assuming I could find another boulder breaker somewhere. What do you guys think about choir sounds? Like what was just happening in the music just now? Is it overdone? Because it is cool sometimes. I don't know, it felt cool in that moment when her boss is going nuts. I remember everybody making fun of that though back in the Halo 2 days. We had one friend who played Halo 2 all the time. And we used to just... <laughs> Sing the theme song to him just to tease him. Now, nope, I refuse to believe that there's nothing over here. There was a chest in that other mission. Among all of this dead space, so maybe. Well, Zelda is sitting on the objective that has yet to complete for some reason. Well, hang on just a second. That's just 
decoration, the end of the map. Like, there's enemies all over the place. How? Why? There's gotta be something over here. Right back where I was. I don't know. Okay. Was this door not open the whole time or something? Whatever. Holy crap, look at how much stuff just spawned in. Yeah, actually that other mission of this same map, when it was not destroyed yet. Holy. My god, dude. These things were always kind of scary in Breath of the Wild. Oh, god. All right, Daruk's playable now. Well... I would love ancient arrows. But I guess it's not a thing. I was saying something, don't remember. Oh yeah, actually, now I do, seeing this mob of silver boca boys. God, these things. In one of my replayings of the other mission, I climbed all the way to the top. There's an ancient arrow. Sweet. Just like when we defeated uh, Fireblight, was it, right? Boulder Breaker, sweet! Anyway, what I was gonna say is, yeah, at the top there's cannons everywhere. Now you can see. There's also a Korok, but it wasn't here. Actually, you know what? I don't know if I actually destroyed the Boulder Breaker just yet. But I know I almost did if I didn't. I don't remember if I confirmed the choice or not. But yeah, right over here is where the Korok was in the previous mission. Doesn't seem to be anything going on here, though. Robosa, uh, go, wow, Malice, three Malice Guardians? Zelda is on top of Daruk, okay. Let's see, what did I do? Yeah, that's not the Boulder Breaker that he's using, I don't think. Yeah, like, it was way more powerful. It almost added 20 attack compared to the Boulder Breaker that he was using. Yeah, that's fun every time. It is still random to me that Daruk was required. Like, I realized he came rushing in. Maybe there was more to it. I couldn't read all the dialogue. I never can. Like too much going on all the time. I 
definitely do like how warlike this feels now. Like, this is nuts. Thinking of how many of huge enemies have just been attacking this whole map so far. Down. So it's just the things are bosses. Oh my gosh, never mind. There's. Yeah, Daruk feels more powerful already because of that weapon. Got uh, kind of like a mid-air attack boost on it too, so I keep trying to do that one combo where he flips up. Crap! Oh, I accidentally hit his eye. Would have preferred the bomb though because it's just faster. Smack the crap out of him! Oh. There we go, a little bit of the Goron special crop. Now what's going on? They're closing in. Well, didn't that dude say something about the cannons? Whatever happened to that? They're all flooding in. It's gotta be. Hang on. I'm still taking this thing out. Oh my. Maybe not. <laughs> okay, yeah, head to the east. I see the. The waypoint. move to the east. Hold on, I'm gonna smack this pie chart. No, or maybe not. Arbosa, are you running? Get the heck out of here. Yeah. Alright, it's gotta be the cannon thing he was going on about. Yeah, well there it is. Fire the cannons at will. Something. Whoa. They're mere fish food Link. now. All right, Link, let's do this. Or are we not doing anything? Glide down from the cliff. Exercise yard? It has fountains in it. This is pretty sweet, actually. Again, one of my favorite missions so far, although I don't know if it tops Hyrule Castle. That was really awesome. Ah. Uh. I got my buttons confused, clearly by the bringing up of the rods. I wonder if the Master Sword would do bonus damage on these things. Like if they went that far to be like, oh, the Master Sword's gonna glow all blue and be crazy. Yeah. Is that it? That was crazy, man. Just how much this game has opened up since the calamity struck. It just instantly got so much better. I mean, the side missions are still very same old, which is why I've been trying to cover them less. 
But... I don't know, I could maybe see like a second playthrough being maybe more fun now that I know how it works a little better. I don't know. Not saying like I'm gonna record it, but... No commentary? Yeah! Should have done that all along, shouldn't we? Oh well. Huh. I must be maxed out on the Boca Blend parts or something. It's auto. I'm glad that it auto sells it though. So now what? Cutscene? Map? How many side things are going to pop up? That's the other question. Twenty-three? Did I count twenty-three noises? Fort Hatino is next. Well. Weapon capacity plus two could be useful. Still want the Koroks to appear on the mini-map. That's what I ultimately want here. Oh, those are those, uh... What pants are those? That's the reward down there. Whatever. Uh... Daruk special attack gauge. Gonna run out of tireless frogs, though. They're needed for something, too. battle's on me! Yeah! Have a sirloin! Yanobo needs honeybees. Oh man, we don't even have enough of those. Th Why is it all obsessed with the Yanobo all of a sudden? Meat pie? Is that like a mince pie? <laughs> Impressive. Damage plus 10%. It's the power of meat. Fairy tonic. But there has never once been a risk of dying. Because we're on easy, I'm assuming. I forgot all about that as a thing. Prince's escort. Increase max weapon level. That could be good for the master sword as well. You did well. What's that other thing? There's another little hut. Oh, discount at the blacksmith. That's good too, even though five percent is nothing. It's like grocery store sales, and it's like, now on sale, save, like, 20 cents. It's like, is that really a sale? All the better to help my friend. Sweet, we got the Zora pants now, and another special for Mifa. We're still missing a Zora thing, though. I think it's the chest plate. I did always like the Zora I armor. Will not rest on my lawns. You probably go the champion outfit, Sheikah outfit, then Zora as my favorite. I seem to have improved. Of the Breath of the Wild thingies. I mean, there was like Fierce Deity, but that doesn't really count because they like discontinued it or something. What happened with it? I don't remember. We're unlocking more things. Our boss's face is just popping up at random. <laughs> There's more where that came from. But look at that! And now I can't afford this. Maybe I couldn't the whole time. I don't know. Ah, yes. Scrolling on the map. Buy the honey and the nuts. And if you're not thirsty at the end of that meal. I don't know how I feel about nuts. It seems like anytime I eat mixed nuts or something, I always feel like I'm about to be sick. Like, not throw up sick. Oh, yeah. 
See, meat and salt, that's where... You always feel good after that, but yeah, something about nuts, dude. It always makes me feel like you're about to get a sore throat. Like everything just dries up. And you think like, oh, am I getting that back of the nose thing where I'm about to hey. die? And you're like, oh yeah, look at these rewards just coming in, big radishes. But yeah, then you're walking around like, <coughs> making all these noises and breathing heavy. People are like, what the heck is the matter with you? And you're like, I just ate nuts. Hey. Leave me alone. <laughs> God, uh. 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 Refuel motivation. What was this for? Buy meat. <laughs> Two-handed weapon. I gotta th start using that. The climbing gear. I forgot about that outfit. I never liked it, though. It's alright, but it's weird colors. Tabba. God, that's good. Or whatever he says when you give him food. Looking pretty good, huh? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We can count. I have further to soar. Oh, man. What about your big combo here? Stealth fin trout. Remember having to farm those to upgrade the stupid outfit? I haven't yet reached my peak. That was something that wasn't really fully enjoyable all the time, but... 67%, dude, we're getting there. Oh, yeah. There was this thing that popped up. <laughs> For once, you've done well. Mob I was like, what the heck is that thing? Moblin mask. 5,000 rupees. Well. I'm gonna be grinding stuff anyway. <laughs> Wait, did I just get 5,000 rupees back? What just happened? That's confusing, but okay. Anyway, that's the desert. 44% still like grains of sand. Well, and nobody cares about the great fairies. So, yeah, I don't know yet if I'm going to cover some of these on screen, these side things that popped up. We'll see. I'll say Yenobo business. I do like Yenobo. Hey! But I don't know that he's that important. It's a lot of rupees, but... Ah. <laughs> Who do Guardians taste like, or what do Guardians taste like? Probably not good. You ever put a penny in your mouth? I would imagine that's what a guardian tastes like. That and oil. Anyway, this is like super boring. Uh, so thanks for watching and next time we'll do something exciting. Bye.